Hey everyone, Jerry James Stone here, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make the classic mimosa cocktail, which is champagne and orange juice. Making a classic mimosa requires just a few things. While it's a really simple recipe, it's just half champagne, half orange juice, there are a few gotchas along the way. First thing first, all of your ingredients should be cold. If the champagne is warm, it's gonna bubble a lot when you pour it into the glass and it's gonna overflow. If you have the OJ that's warm, no one wants a warm OJ, right? So it's really important to keep the ingredients cold. Cold before you pour the mimosa and then put it back in the fridge until you make the next one. Secondly, never make a pitcher of mimosas. It's just gonna go flat. Those bubbles are gonna go flat fast and it's better just to have it freshly made every single time. So those are the first two things. You wanna have the ingredients be cold and you definitely don't wanna make a pitcher. You wanna make it as you're drinking it. So one thing that I wanna say is I prefer Prosecco for making a mimosa over champagne. The reason for that is Prosecco is made in a somewhat similar fashion. Um, it's an Italian version uh, versus French like champagne, but it's also a lot cheaper. So since you're gonna be mixing it with orange juice, it doesn't matter if you're using a really, really high quality champagne. The most important part is you do wanna use a dry champagne or a dry Prosecco. You want them to be dry to sort of balance out that sweetness from the orange juice. Here's the one thing that's gonna just blow your mind. So most people, probably pour in the OJ first and then the champagne. But you actually wanna start out with the bubbly. Get that started. The reason you wanna use the bubbly first is because the bubbly, if you have OJ in there and you pour in the bubbles afterwards, there's a high chance of those bubbles just effervescing and like overflowing in the glass and getting really nice and messy. You don't want that. So if you pour in the champagne first or the Prosecco, you can kind of see how those bubbles are coming up. If you had had orange juice in there, it would have already just kind of overflown. So let those bubbles settle, then pour in your orange juice. Like I said, it's just half and half, real simple. The last thing that's really important when it comes to making the perfect classic mimosa is never stir it. The ingredients are mixed just by the pouring alone. There's only two of them. You never need to stir it because you're just gonna reduce those bubbles again. After that, it's just happy cheersing. If you like this video, hey, give me a thumbs up. If you like to drink like I do, I release new videos every single week. And if there's something that you wanna see, learn about, or drink, let me know. I'm always looking for inspiration. See you guys next time.